So I just got done eating some avocado sushi from Whole Foods and I was driving home thinking about video ideas and I actually watched my friend Dominica's video and she did a like tips for organizing your life for school, like school related stuff. And I kind of thought it would be really fun to sit down and film a really quick, just kind of organized in general kind of video. Now, I realize organized is kind of a relative word. I mean, I'm kind of noticing when I look around in life that everyone's kind of got a different standard for what they consider organized. Now, in the general world standard of organized or organization, I'm gonna say that I'm middle of the road. I'm not like a complete mess, but I am definitely not like A plus organized. But there have been a few things over the years, just because it isn't so natural to me, I've had to work at, Oh, the dogs are barking. And there are a few things over the years that I've definitely learned, like general tips, that have helped me organize my life a lot better. And a lot of you guys have also asked me on Twitter to do this kind of video. So I'm gonna give you three tips that I have to help organize your life, especially going back into like school year, if you're going back to school, or even just going into a new season. I feel like there's something about a new season that always makes you wanna like, I don't know, do better. And I feel like this time of the year, especially this season, really makes you wanna like, do better and organize your life and be awesome. The first tip is the five minute rule. And what that basically means is when you're in a room, whether it's your bedroom or the kitchen or the bathroom or whatever, one way to help keep your mess a little more manageable and not get so crazy is before you leave the room, start teaching yourself that even if you make it like a two minute rule, not a five minute rule, to pick up whatever you can in that five minute slot. Because what starts happening is like, if you really think about it, time is kind of like, well, I was about to sound really artsy fartsy. I was gonna say it's all kind of relative. It's really not relative. We have deadlines and places to be. But what I mean by that is that if you don't feel like doing it now, you're not gonna feel like doing it then. You might think you will because you're like, oh, that's then. But really, time is all kind of the same. If you don't feel like doing it right now, you're not gonna feel like doing it then. So by breaking it down into little, like, I think that's Dan. I think he just got home from getting his lunch. But if you break it down into little chunks, it just makes keeping your life organized like so much easier. Hey, I'm it's just coming. Filming, I'm filming an organizing tips video. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. Bye oh, puppies. Bye family. <laughs> okay. So my second tip, what was my second tip? Once a week, take the things that you use a lot. So whether it's your purse or your car, something like that, or your makeup bag or your backpack and clean it out once a week because I don't know about you guys or your wallet, but I do this thing where stuff just kind of accumulates and then the next thing you know, it's like not only is it a mess like my backpack would just be this like never-ending abyss of crap or my makeup bag is like gum stuck to it but on top of that of having like stuff everywhere I find that for it kind of ends up ruining my stuff like I said like gum in my makeup bag or whatever like cleaning it out once a week for some reason avoids the item from actually being damaged as well so it keeps your stuff more clean you can see what you actually have get better use out of it and on top of that you end up actually being able to take better care of the item whatever it is a makeup bag a car a backpack whatever the stuff that we get I mean we're lucky to have it and if you take care of your stuff you really appreciate it so cleaning out your stuff items once a week is definitely another tip that I have. Ooh, that was not cute. So my last tip is to get rid of the crap. I don't know about you guys, but my whole life I've been like an infamous hoarder. I love how I'm saying that as I'm sitting in a room that has literally been transformed into a closet, bless my heart. But I've always been someone who keeps a lot of stuff that I don't need. And one side of my head was always like, well, everything come back, comes back in style and I wanna have it when it does come back in style. But then the other side of me is like, yeah, but you still have a shopping problem. Like you still shop, so you're just kind of accruing more and more crap that just kind of sits there most of the time. So if you kind of feel the same way I do which not everyone does and that's fine if you don't I feel like I do this all the time but I feel like I can't do it enough because it's like I guess I have such deep hoarding problems that I still end up holding on to stuff that I really hardly ever wear and when you think about it like now I'm talking about clothes but really anything but in terms of clothes when you think about it if you've got something in your closet and it's like oh but I might wear this once this year it's like 
you could get rid of that and give that to like either a shelter or a goodwill or a church if they do like um, clothing drives and stuff like that or even sell it at a garage sale and give the money to like a charity and then that item is actually being put to you. So it's not Those are my three vague tips for organization. Be sure to leave in the comment section down below any tips you have for organizing because like I said I'm definitely not an A-class organizer or leave the name of any channels you know of people who do like organizing videos because I'm, I'm pretty sure there are people on YouTube who do videos like just about that I just don't really know who they are so leave comments of suggestions channels all that kind of stuff and yeah be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I am making videos Monday Wednesday Friday they will show up in your inbox I'd appreciate it thumbs up this video if you liked it and also please check out my vlog channel that my husband Danny and I do together um you're gonna like it or not but you know maybe so with that being said I will see you all next time I hope you have a really great rest of the day and until next time I'll see you on Twitter Instagram Facebook all jazz bye